Hello, it's Alex here, also known as Default Sound, and today I've got a brand new video for you. And as you can see, as you may probably guess, it is the Lego Technic Porsche 9 911, 911 GT3 RS set that's recently come out this month. This is a massive Technic set coming in at 2,704 pieces, and the box, as you can see, is huge and heavy. This thing weighs, I think about 11 pounds I've read. Uh, I, I know for a fact I logged this from the shop and it, it, it weighed a ton. So I managed to pick this up at the Stratford Lego shop in, off of the uh, near London. I don't know if they have any left in stock but there's only like two or three left. So uh, let's open this up and have a look and see what's inside. So we've got just four pieces of sellotape around the edges here. Okay, that way. Okay, let's flip this up. Okay, here we go, the reveal. Now, this is a special Lego set. It's like the 41999 limited edition Technic set. Where it's going to come, it comes in a very, very unique box. On the inside of the lid are various models from over the years. You can see, we may not be able to see, but on the lid inside there are cars from different eras. So that's like 2011, there's the Porsche original 911, 1963. Yeah, I, I need a light in there. Let's see, actually, I might be able to get a hand light in there. There we go. And then we've got 1988, 1993, and it just goes through the years. And uh, to guess that that one we're building? I have no idea which one we're building. That's the box, that's the lid of the box. Anyway, so this is presented so well. Look at this. It's just, you've got these new molded pieces for this set. These are brand new wheel hubs. That are unique to this set so <laughs> i can imagine on bricklink if anyone sells these at a later day these are going to be worth a pretty penny maybe like a couple of quid each no doubt and look at this just this oh my goodness this manual is massive look at that they weren't wrong about it being an inch in thickness wow that's crazy I know, oh, well, I, was, I was dreading that, but yes, there are stickers, unfortunately. Oh well. You know, it's the thing. It happens. Now, this is interesting. They've they've kind of, I can imagine why they've done this, because this is a probably a pretty complicated build. They've numbered different parts of the set in separate boxes. So you've got the engine, by the looks of it, there, number one. What's two? Let's have, pull this out. Oh, that's a chair on the front there. Don't know if that's implying interiors. Four for the spoiler. Three front. Does this come out? Is this a box? Wow, they've actually just got this whole section for the rims. There is a thing that opens it here. Yes. So you open the, the side there. All the tyres are in here. Okay, I'm going to leave that aside for now because obviously that's that's something you want to leave to the end. You know, you you want to open that up when you've built the entire vehicle, and then put the the wheels and tires together and put that on separately. Wow, this is just this is I just can't get over how big this this instruction manual is. That's crazy. Oh, look at that. It's, it's, it's lovely. I'm just put, we'll just set that in the centre there for a bit. You can kind of have a quick look at some of these pages. This, I think I read somewhere this this makes a great coffee table coffee table book where you know, it's just like a great picture here of Porsches over the, the, the years. I've talked about the design of the car and then a bit about the Lego set as well. <clears throat> wow, this, I think this is going to be a great build. This is going to take some time, mind you. 
I know I built the Unimog set, Technic set, and that, that takes a while. That took a long while. And here we go, lots of information. Again, oh, that's a, that's a fair amount of pages, just at the beginning there. That alone is just all, you know, history and interesting trivia. Okay, here we go. Get ready to build. First steps of your construction. Complete with dual clutch gearbox. And there we go, that's the beginning. And look at, I like that. So on this first inside page is the um, sort of like showing you the real engine. Kind of, I like that transition between that. That's, that's quite cool. Okay. I think I think I'm going to switch over to the time lapse now. Let's 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 get knolling. We got to put all these pieces out. Let's go. Okay, so you probably just saw in that time lapse of me nulling every piece of the first stage and it was a bit misleading. I didn't realise there would be so many pieces in this first stage. It's crazy. Um, yeah, <laughs> I ended up running out of space for all the parts and the null got a bit messy towards the end. But I'm pretty happy with how I can see the majority of all the parts for this first stage. So building this will be a little more easier for me. Um, usually I'm I'm pretty bad builder, I just tend to pour all the bricks onto my desk and spend hours searching for parts, which adds to the fun for some people, but in this in for this model I've decided to null all the parts out. And for those who aren't avid tested watchers as I am, um, You'll find that uh, on Tested they do this a lot for whatever builds they're doing. But nulling is the act of basically putting every part out so you can see every piece. And uh, that way you can... It's, it's an efficiency thing. But I think it was invented by a guy who happened to be called Null. And that was his way of presenting a an, an, an product or some model with all the parts set out like this. So... Uh, I'm going to get into the build now and uh, we'll see how this goes. Okay, I've started to build the uh, Porsche. 911 and I'm on step the well, 41 I've just started to build the chassis and I've just come across like the first stickers they're a bit tricky they're on these uh, 1x9 Technic beams and they just mark out the um, I think it's the, the, the uh, gearbox you got drive neutral reverse on there um, so far it's a pretty easy build no struggles yet, but um, yeah, it's starting to shape up and we can, I'm not really sure where this is going yet, but we will see, we shall see. Let's carry on.
Okay, I'm now on step 235 of the Porsche 911 and I've so far built the main chassis of the car as you can see we've got the front suspension um, steering and the gear paddles but all the function or well, the gearing's all done and there's an intricate mess of gears in here that all link up and when you push this they all you sort of see it moving there. But that linkage, linkage, linkage there uh, is moved when you push these paddles. It's quite cool. So I'll just leave that like that for now. So the next step is to build the, where the rear wheels are going to be. And um, as you can see, we haven't got too many parts left. So. Uh, Let's go back to the build and build the rear wheels. Right, so I finished the first stage of the Porsche now, and if you're wondering why the the uh, sound quality is deteriorated, it's because this thing I bought broke. It started giving me weird buzzing noises on the audio, and now it's a piece of rubbish. So we won't be using that anymore. Anyway, I finished the first stage, and uh, again, it was a lot of pieces for this first stage. I think that is probably the most trickiest stage since you're working out all the mechanisms for steering. You also got the um, paddle. Uh, shifters here that when you push these in there's a mechanism that sort of turns these uh, gears here which then incline pushes this linkage that then shifts the gears in here and it's quite a clever mechanism I'm amazed at how much in how much space like this whole chunk here is literally jam-packed with uh, beams and gears and stuff just to get that to work so that's a really incredible feat of design there. Uh, also at the, the rear of the port, oops, you have a very detailed engine uh, and under here, uh, I think we can remove this, there we go, is your standard Lego Technic engine and when we turn the diffs, you can kind of see that go around or not. Uh, let's see our gears. Oh, yeah, our gearing's engaged. Now the problem I found with this this <clears throat> paddle is is um even when you push this the full distance, if you see these little yellow Technic one by two pieces, if they are not aligned perpendicular to one another, this linkage doesn't push this gear um, clutch in all the way and sometimes, or out all the way, so sometimes two are engaged at the same time which causes it to foul function. So I found you've got to kind of push it and then gently push it a little bit more make sure they're aligned and that. Only one of these grey pieces here are engaged into the red gear piece. And then we turn this and the pistons go around, you don't really get to see the pistons much Unfortunately, as they are covered by this little bit of kit here, it just sits on top of there. Some sort of details for the engines. Just kind of cool, some exhaust pipey things. This all works very well. You've got drive, neutral, reverse, and that engages the wheels with this paddle system. So, right now, we've got a neutral, these don't work, and then drive. And they go around, da 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 da. So pretty straightforward. Anyhow, um, steering, 
nothing fancy, kind of has some resemblance to the supercar steering from 94. Um, I'll compare that later on actually to see how yeah, it compares in size as well as maybe some of the functions. So yeah, let's carry on building. I've now got stage 2 in this box here. So we're on stage 2 now of the kit. Looks like there's a chair on the front there. Okay, this is box number two, fully nulled out with all the pieces out on the table. As you can see, it's not as many parts, but it was still quite a few um, individual unique elements here to make up this stage. I have no idea what this is going to be. I think a chair, that's the only clue we got on the front of the second box, but we'll see what else is um, being made in this stage. And uh, yeah, let's carry on. Okay, so I've now got to f step 493. So I've finished the, um, this is like the cuff, the, well, the shell of where, or the, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, exterior is going to be attached to. And uh, on step 493 is a step where you basically slide this piece onto the step one chassis with all the gears and whatnot. And I just, I just put this in and uh, it's just so satisfying to see this all slide in. Look at that, it's perfect. <laughs> just how that um, Technic thingy, what do you call it, Technic plate, just fits in there perfectly. There we go. Now well, I've got to go through and plug in all these uh, red pieces, I'm assuming that will plug in and attach this to get this one more time. Okay, that's it. <laughs> let's, let's attach the two together now. Okay, we now have finished stage two. The now, well, what did they call it? Um, let's check the manual again. So they called this the marriage. There's a stage called the marriage where the drivetrain is connected to the body of the car. So this was basically the beginning of the car body where we attached it to the the uh, chassis or the drivetrain, as they call it, and. Uh, like I showed you, the, it was really satisfying to slide it in and then all you have are these red Technic pins that all lock it in. So now that's done, uh, we can begin to probably add some to the bodywork. 
and also in that stage two we added the seats which are very simple to make but they're very effective and they really add to the look of the the Porsche. I'm also very um, happy with how they've achieved this cross uh, bar support at the back. I just think that really adds to the whole look. Now one thing I did find really frustrating with this part was these um, flexi tubes here which were actually really tricky to put into the Techno pins for some reason. I never had trouble before but for these ones they were just difficult but I managed to fiddle around and get them in there. So let's move on to stage three. Okay, we've completely nulled stage three, all the parts are laid out, and uh, I think I'm going to get started on building the bodywork. Well, that was stage three complete. As you can see, it's really starting to take shape. And you can really see the size of this thing, you know? This thing is massive. It is a gigantic model. I think the price point for this is justified now. At the early stages, I was a little bit worried, but now I'm really starting to see the size of it. You can, and just the immense detail in this thing. So this is a really good buy. I, I, I'm going to talk about it a bit more at the end, but so far I recommend this if you're into uh, cars, uh, you're a Technic fan and into cars, this is a good set. And I've noticed that in the manual, the steps are very basic. It's usually maybe one or two pieces per stage. So for non-Lego enthusiasts or people who haven't built Technic before, it's it's designed in a way where it's going to appeal to non Lego fans. So if you're a car enthusiast, this could be a good uh, gift for yourself or a gift for someone you know is a car enthusiast because this thing is packed with detail. It, it's, it, I would say this is probably the most, I guess, prestigious Lego adult set you could get ever. I don't, th I can't think of, off the top of my head, I cannot think of any more adult designed set than this. It doesn't get any more special than this set. So we've got one more stage to go. I'm going to null the last box out and then build the panels on. Um, I'm guessing we've got the windscreen to go in, obviously the wheels, front wheel heart arches to go on, finish up the front um, assembly and yeah, let's carry on. Okay, I've just finished nulling the final box of the Porsche 911 and these are all the parts of the last box. As you can see it's getting less and less but there's still a fair amount of parts in this final uh, stage of the build. Now I didn't do this in the other nulls but I noticed a few parts that um, were quite interesting or something that stood out to me. This part here is, I don't know what number it is, but it's, um, so this part here is like 
a it's like one of these sort of like there there we go like one of these but slightly it's thinner it's halved now these are really useful for um, certain applications but I hadn't seen these in a new mold I was I would thought they had stopped producing these but apparently not so it's good to see that these are still being made I also notice like most days that these are produced in red now the 1x2 axles but in this set there's some black ones so that's going to be interesting to see why that is um, is there anything else that stands out? lots of bricks in this final stage um, more so than the previous stages I've got some uh, of these snot plates that are used somewhere that's about it and we're going to go and get into the final stage of the build of this Porsche and uh, while well, I'd be sad to see it all wrap up but it's going to be cool to see the final build all together so without further ado let's get into the final stage Okay, for those of you wondering why I've got a pen knife in the time lapse, I've been using it to try and get the stickers on properly, and there's this really tricky one. It's this um, it's a speedometer on the dashboard. It is a tricky little thing to get on. And um, what's annoying is it's a rounded, it's on a round um, tile, and these things are a pain to get aligned. So I've made sure I've got it on like a, a plinth that it's aligned to the studs and then I'm carefully just lining up the well having the sticker on the blade and carefully lining it up and putting it down. I'm just tease the blade away. I wouldn't recommend doing it this way if you've got tweezers. Oh, that's not quite right. Okay, I'm gonna have to take that off and redo that. But yeah, that's that's what this is for. Okay, I've just hit a, well, step 760, and there's this, probably, yeah, the biggest sticker on the sheet that I've got to place. And I've got it suspended on the knife here. And I'm planning on using this to sort of shift it around so it's aligned with this Technic plate. Also keeping in mind that I hate stickers so much. I think every LEGO fan dislike stickers for multiple reasons for one you waste a part or a part now becomes unique similar to a printed part you can never really get them perfect it's just a hassle the burden what's I gonna do that's pretty good you know what we're going with that there we go it's on there. What a pain. You really see some of the scratch marks in the light there. That's the problem with stickers. Right, there we go. The whole car is complete and there's only one thing left and that's the wheels. So let's put the wheels on. We have got the new moulded hubs. Last but not least, the new tyres. 
tyres. So, let's put the tyres on. aligned else one not too difficult to put these on I've had the worst of Lego tyres to put on in the past but these aren't too bad there we go okay Let's put the wheels on. I haven't really figured out where's the best place to pick it up from. A lot of these panels here aren't secured overly well. It's like the one thing to be aware of. There's a sticker here with the uh, the, the brake disc. That's what it's called. And it looks really nice when it sort of it's behind the wheel there. There we go. That's what I mean. It's a bit fragile some of these elements around the sides. Okay, now I did notice that the, the rear wheel actually sits slightly higher than the front wheel. Uh, I'm not sure if that's intentional. I don't know if that's intentional to give it a slight incline. Just to give it a slight incline. Oh, that's nice. Suspension, okay. Right, two more things. We've got the bag to put in and the little decals on the wheel hubs need to go on. What do they say on them? RS. And these are printed, thank goodness. Two more. I apologise for lighting, I've only got one light above me, so everything in front is a bit dark. Might have to get the ring light out, that might help. There we go. The bonnet opens. A little Porsche bag goes in there. Uh, wow. <laughs> okay, let's compare this to some other models. So here we've got the 1994 supercar, 8880. Any Technic fan will know this model. This is a classic. Goodness, that piece. the Porsche is a Yeah, you can see the, the, the this thing is just, I think it's even a bit wider. It's a tad wider, just a little bit wider. Oh, something else is falling off. The supercar is just falling apart. Yeah. Um. Okay, so that was the build of the Lego Technic Porsche 911. I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's ended up being quite long but um, I hope it's given you some insight to what the set is and if you are currently thinking of buying one. I've actually did check the reviews uh, after finishing building this and it's got a mixed reviews from different people and I can kind of agree with some of their views regarding it, it could be a little bit overpriced for some people especially there are other sets with more functions I would agree with that but all in all it, it does look like a really nice display set and uh, I personally really like it and I will be displaying this up on my shelf for years to come. So anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.